Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another Shopify app review video. And in this video, I'll review an app which will add breadcrumbs to your Shopify product page. Now you must be thinking why you need to have a breadcrumbs because it will help your user to navigate if you have a hierarchy of collection and then sub collection, like five different levels of hierarchy, which you can add using this app. There are multiple other breadcrumbs apps available, but the quality and uh, the USP unique selling point of this app is that it will add up to five levels of uh, breadcrumbs, high product hierarchy. And it's also very good for SEO because it will add JSON structure to your Shopify store, which is for displaying rich snippet structure data in Google search listing, which I'm going to show you guys in this video and a lot of other apps which are available does not provide that functionality, which will give you up to five level of product hierarchy in your breadcrumbs. And it will also add that SEO schema using HTML, not the JavaScript. So why HTML? Because HTML is good for speed and it is easily readable by the bots of the Google and other search engine rather than having that in the JS format in the JavaScript format. If you guys are not familiar with the coding standards, I completely understand that a lot of my viewers on the channel are small Shopify merchants, small and medium sized Shopify merchants. So you might not be understanding the technical terms, but it's really good to have an SEO structure using HTML with the breadcrumbs and having an up to five level of breadcrumbs is going to help your user to navigate on your store easily. So the app which we are talking about is PH breadcrumbs. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can easily check that out. It's available for a one month free trial. So it's going to cost you after a trial $4.98 a month, which is nothing if it adds up the value to your store. And I'm going to stall that on my development store and show you guys what are the features uh, this app is providing you guys. As you can see on my screen, they have email and support. If you are having issues installing that app, the app developers are available with just a message away. All you have to do is just email them add the mention email and they'll be able to set up breadcrumbs on your store if you are a subscribed user, obviously. So customize font alignment, color, CSS, home link font family and all other type of functionalities for customizing the layout is available. And as you can see, it is providing up to five list items with LD JSON breadcrumb list schema. So what does that mean? Let me show you. So you can see there's an article showing up which says breadcrumbs in SEO example. Now, if I scroll down, you can see this one, right? And this one. So there's this article from SEMrush explaining about breadcrumb navigation. And there's this article from WebFX explaining about breadcrumbs and it also have the breadcrumbs. Right? So that's the difference which you will be adding on the Google search listing when you install this app that your product hierarchy will be visible to Google search engine. So that's a really important feature which you will be getting from this app, which will improve your search engine listing. And the schema which this app will add on your store is based on HTML, not the JavaScript, which uh, is the common pattern on any other Shopify app, which you use for breadcrumbs. So I have this link opened up where you can see that why rendering in HTML is more important because as you can see that Google needs 9x more time to crawl JS as compared to HTML. So if the JSON structure is rendering via JavaScript, it's going to take 9x more time, meaning using this app, it will help you get 9x ahead as compared to other apps in terms of getting better search engine optimization and search engine listing. And these are all of the settings which you'll be getting like easily customize the color, the alignment of the breadcrumbs, font size, you can also add custom font and all these features which you will be getting. Now let's install that on our development store and I'm gonna show you guys how you can install that and how you can configure that easily and display the breadcrumbs on your product page. Now let's click on install. Click on install again. 
and here it's saying that you'll be getting 30 day free trial and each shop will get a one free trial and the monthly price is $4.98 a month and the annual pricing is $49.99 a month which is two months free so if you subscribe it for annually you'll be getting two months for free and if you have any custom feature which you want to add on this app you can simply email the developer and they'll be able to add the feature which you are requesting and all of these features we already discussed now let's install this and set up that on one of our product page okay i'm gonna click on approve and here we have more instructions on how you can set that up and i'm going to go through one by one all of the instructions and all of the features which this app is providing so guys these are all of the global ui settings I mean whatever the changes you want as font size if you want to use slider so if you have five level of breadcrumb list it's not going to look good on mobile version so it has a format of slider which will only show up on the slider and this is a global setting to enable and disable it you can enable and disable it on template level if you have multiple product page templates and multiple collection page templates you can uh, customize that on template level as well this is for the margin top we all know what the margin top is if you don't know like it's adding space on top of the app breadcrumb list which you will add through app margin bottom breadcrumb separator so it's the separator which you want to add which i'm going to show you shortly when we add the breadcrumbs on our product page so all of these are settings for css if you want to add a custom css globally on your all of the breadcrumbs if you have like 10 to 15 templates of breadcrumbs and you want them to target css for all of those templates you can simply add the css here and turn on global settings for custom css for tablet and desktop similarly we have css to use in mobile view so this css will only work in mobile view meaning on the screen size less than 480px so you can add custom css here and again all of the css settings here so i'm just gonna go over it and uh, this is for menu handles for breadcrumbs so i'm going to discuss that shortly in the video with this feature you can add five level of product hierarchy to your breadcrumb list by default shopify only have one which you can add but using this app you can add like five level of hierarchy and there's a limit of adding five products as in hierarchy which i'm going to show you as well because there's a limit for the navigation which we cannot add more than three nested items in the navigation okay so we have discussed the global settings now what we're going to do we'll add the breadcrumbs on our product page template so i'm going to click on online store and then let's click on customize and here i'm going to navigate to my product page template so click on this drop down click on products and i only have one product template which is called default product so on this product we will add our breadcrumbs so let's scroll down here click on add section and then here these are all the default section and here we have the section which is provided by the app so here it is click on add breadcrumbs and now we have our breadcrumbs showing up right so let's scroll that to the top here perfect now we will style it a little bit to make it more attractive so click on this block here and here we have the option to choose color i think black is fine for me but you can change the color here as well as you can see it's changing the color but i don't need to change the color because black works fine for me because of the theme which i have okay now i'm going to make it left alignment and then increase the font size to 16 px which will make it more visible right choose the font size font family yep and uh, i think this one looks more much attractive okay click on select after selecting the font family of your choice 
you can add the margin left margin top now you can see that I need a margin top because of the spacing on the bottom is not equal so I'm just going to add some margin top to see which one works fine I'll need to add some more margin perfect that looks better right now here we have the option to add margin right margin bottom we don't need to add margin bottom so our margin top is fine show the first breadcrumb the home link we can enable and disable this home link from this checkbox so if i check uncheck it we can simply remove that let's enable that because we need that and we can also rename this home to whatever we want front page for example right and uh, this is the breadcrumb for the current product if you don't want to display the current product if you have the big hierarchy and you don't want to display the last product name where they are on the page right now you can simply disable that from unchecking this checkbox right so it's not going to show up but i need that because that's what i want Cool. You can add the home page link if you have a separate landing page or something, but I think that works fine. All uppercase if you want to display that all in uppercase. Currently, it's the camel case. Perfect. It's all uppercase. So this one is for adding slider, which will appear only in mobile version, but it's not going to show up right now because we don't have uh, five level of product hierarchy added yet, which I'm going to show you guys shortly in this video how you can add five level of product hierarchy. So this is for blog articles first tag in breadcrumb. If it's true, it will choose only the first tag. Okay, now let's discuss the breadcrumb separator, which was in the global setting as well. You can add that in the template level as well. If you don't want to apply the global settings from the app settings, you can simply change it from here. For example, if I want this as a separator, you can see that my separator is changed. Perfect. Again, some CSS settings here, which we discussed in the global settings. All of the settings are same. We can add it on the template level or we can add it in the global level from the app settings, which I showed you guys previously. And this is for adding menu handles as custom breadcrumbs so if you want to add five level of breadcrumbs that's how you can add it i'm going to show you guys how you can do that by creating a navigation and adding the handle of that navigation here okay now let's go back to the back end and if i go to my collections I have these three collections, collection one, collection two, and collection three. Now, if I want, want to add five level of product hierarchy, how I'm going to do that? Because Shopify doesn't allow nested collections like sub collections, but we can do that by adding custom navigation. And I'm going to teach you how you can do that. Okay. Now let's first add, select this product on these three collections, go to products and that's our product six pieces t-shirt discount and i'm going to add that product in these three collections which i have collection one collection two collection three click on save and now if i go back to my product template you can see i have just one collection showing up because shopify doesn't have sub collection feature right now we will create a custom navigation and have this collection two and then collection three showing up here how we can do that so let's go to our navigation i'm going to open that in a new tab so here below online store we have navigation and i'm going to create a new navigation let's click on add menu and then name it new breadcrumbs right and now let's click on add menu item here i'm going to name collection one link it to collection one click add click on add menu item again name it collection two link it with collection two 
again these can be your own collection name i'm just naming it for collection one collection two and collection three in order to make you easy to understand right so let's click on add and now i'm going to drag and drop it under collection one to make it nested right and now let's click on add menu item again and i'm going to name it collection three now let's name it collection three click on add and i'm going to move it under collection two okay now click on save and now all we have to do is just copy this handle and paste it on our app settings which we have here comma delimited menu handles to use for breadcrumbs so i'm just going to copy this from here and then paste it here now you can see that we have five level of breadcrumbs product hierarchy showing up so our front page home page collection one collection two collection three right so that's how you can add a custom navigation and create a breadcrumb with five level of product hierarchy now click on save and i'm going to show you guys how is the json structure showing up when we click on view source so i'm going to go to my online store open that in a new tab and now let's go to that product where we added our navigation so that's the product and that's our breadcrumb showing up now if i go to view source view page source here we will have our json ld structure showing up which is readable for google search bots and all of the search engine bots now here you can see the nested schema structure which this app added which is seo friendly meaning it is readable and verified in google search console if you go to google search console and test live url of your product which is used for indexing your product page you can verify this schema which will help understand google or other search engine bots that what is the breadcrumbs in your product page or collection page if you add that so it's a pretty awesome tricks to get more organic clicks if you want to add this feature on your store and that's it for the video guys i hope it was helpful for you guys if you want to add breadcrumbs make sure to check this app out link in the description until next video have a great day